Hello, today what we're working on is we are computing the present value of a series of uneven cash flows. Okay, now on uneven cash flows, the thing for us to remember is that there are a whole bunch of lump sum payments. So what we've done previously is we've said, hey, the present value of a payment, of a future payment, is going to be equal to one divided by one plus r to the t power, right? So we have one plus our discount rate and that's raised to the number of time periods until we receive it. Now the slight difference that we're gonna do here is that we are gonna add a Greek letter sigma here. And we are saying this is from t equals one until n, with n denoting the number of periods, okay? So basically what we're having here is that we said on this subscript that t there is that we have the uh, say we have at t equals zero, right, is today. We have t equals one, and let's say at that point in time, we are gonna receive a cash flow in the amount of $400, okay? At time t equals two, we're gonna receive a payment of $300. And at time t equals three, we're gonna receive a payment of $250, okay? Now, I don't want you to get, if you're uncomfortable looking at this, the sigma here, it's just another letter for us to basically be able to just string this out without writing this out for a huge number of time periods. Okay, so I'll just break it down for this time period. And basically what we're saying here is we're starting, okay, we are starting at time t equals one, and then we are going until n, okay? And this time we have our number of time periods here is three. So we are going to have t equal to one, two, and three, right? Because we're going from one until n, which is three, because we have three payments, okay? So if we set this out, we will put out our time periods here, okay? And so we have our present value, right, is equal to our payment, our, our payment at time period one, plus our payment at time period two, plus our payment at time period three. Now all of this is divided by one plus our discount rate, and that's the same thing on the bottom of each of them, okay? Now notice in the numerator what we see is that the t is increasing, so at time t period one, that is one, right? Time period two, it's two, time period three, it's three. Now the ex exponents is that these, there's gonna be exponents here so next to the one plus r's, and that is based off of these t's here, right, in the formula. So at time period one, we're gonna have one, time period two is gonna be two, time period three is going to be three. If we are waiting for three periods to get this payment, right, is that we have to discount it three time periods. If we are waiting for it for two, two periods, etc. okay? The reason we write that summation sign on that formula is because we can have 100, 300, 400, 1,000 different payments that are coming over an extended period of time. And we don't wanna constrain ourselves. We don't have to want to write it out longhand the entire time, okay? So since we set it up in, in this manner here, we can go ahead and write it out for us in using the numbers that were provided to us, these numbers right here, okay? So our present value of these three cash flows is going to be equal to $400 in time period one, right? Plus $300 in time period two, plus $250 in time period three. Now all of these have to be discounted because we're not receiving $400 for another year, we're not receiving $300 for two years, we're not receiving 250 for three years, okay? So we have to discount this, and that's going to be one plus our discount rate, and let's go and use a discount rate here of 5%, okay? R is equal to 5%. So we're gonna say one plus 0 0.05, and this is going to be raised to which power? The first power, okay? And then we're going to time period two, right? This is gonna be 1.05 raised to the second power, right? Because it's coming in year two. And then out here, we're gonna have 1.05 raised to the third power, because it's coming in year three, okay? What we're doing on all of these payments is that we are bringing the value of that payment back until today, right? It's one time period until today, it's one time period from today we receive 400, it's two time periods from today we receive 300, and it's three time periods from today that we receive 250.
Okay, so the value of each of these payments, and we work these out, their lump sums, is it's going to be 380.95 plus 272.11 plus 215.96. And the thing I want you to remember is that each of these payments that are coming in each of these individual time periods is that these are all showing you the same exact calculations we just went over. These are just lump sums. These are three lump sum calculations. Okay, and then we just add them all up, okay? And so when we add them up, that means that we have a present value here of $869.02. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. We're just taking those lump sums and we are extending them out. Now, this framework that we did with the uneven cash flows is that this gives us a lot of flexibility and we can use this in a huge number of ways. We're going to see this when we get to stock valuations. We're going to see this in bond valuations. We can see this in estimating cash flows in the future if we're looking at doing a project. Um, this is going to go into a huge number of different things. Very, very, very important concept. Okay. Now I'll show you here in just a moment uh, the basic way that we can use our financial calculator and, and run this through so we don't have to do these individually.